in this video we are going to be creating this cool fire arm effect in ps touch so without any further ado let's get started all right guys welcome back let us start with a pretty basic background so i'll click on black document you can start up with any size of your choice but i'll love to go 1000 by 1 200 okay so now i'm going to create a gradient at first so click right here click on gradient and pick something like this i want to take this to this click right here change the white color to pretty much darkish red yeah something like this done now let us import our image so click right here click here photo library photo library click right here add so i'm going to flip this one to the top like so put it right here done so now let us remove the background use your quick selection tool just brush around I think I should make the size a bit bigger and yeah I think I'll brush right here like so okay so now what you want to do is to click right here and hit clear that is amazing so now we can come right here and deselect so now i want to give this hand a bit of a reddish tone so click right here on adjustment click on curves so i'm going to take the bottom part a bit darker like so maybe increase the highlights a bit come over to the reds increase the reds come over to the greens should we take it down yeah Come over to the blue take it down so I'll still go back to the RGB add some more contrast to it done so this is a before and the after not bad so click right here click here photo layer photo library so you can pick up this image done So click OK. Speak up your marquee selection to this one right here. Just draw a line like this. Click here and clear. So now we can deselect it and change the blend mode to screen. So I'm just going to transform it, or maybe I want to flip it. Okay, I think I should leave it like this. Take it a bit to the bottom. Okay, so now click right here and warp. So I think I'm going to take this right to the top. I think something like this is cool. Nice. So you can take it to the bottom, pick up a brush, eraser tool, just erase it from this side. Maybe increase the reduce the hardness to zero percent. Just click right here. And now let us add some glow to it so pick up a brush click on color using this color picker click on it and sample the color from the background 
now add an empty layer i think we should add it at the top click once oops change the brush hardness to zero percent and size to 100 percent so now we can click once transform put it right here so which blend mode should we try linear dodge or screen i think i like screen so we can duplicate this transform and maybe you want to reduce the opacity a bit before after so this is just it thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye